a new musical based on the infamous kidnapping case of Shannon Matthews, has ignited a wave of outrage across the UK, with critics labeling it as sick and bang out of order, set to be released next month. This production, created by the provocative comedy group K Asterisk Times T and the Gang, attempts to parody a dark chapter in British history that left a lasting impact on the nation. The case, which unfolded in 2008, captured public attention when nine-year-old Shannon Matthews was reported missing in Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. Her disappearance triggered a massive search effort and media frenzy reminiscent of the high-profile case of Madeleine McCann. However, the story took a shocking turn when Shannon was discovered alive three weeks later, hidden in the home of an acquaintance of her mother, Karen Matthews. It later emerged that the entire episode was a scheme devised by her mother and an accomplice to claim a £50,000 reward for her safe return. This heinous act turned Karen Matthews into one of Britain's most despised figures. Now, the musical adaptation, titled Shannon Matthews, The Musical, is poised to draw further attention as it approaches its premiere on platforms like Amazon and iTunes on November 15th. The film features controversial songs, including titles such as Shannon Ain't Dead, that is, She's Under Me Bed, and You're a Pedophile, which have sparked outrage among many. Critics, including local councillors and members of the public, have expressed their disgust at the trivialization of such a tragic event, with Dewsbury West councillor Amar Anwar describing the production as cruel and sadistic. He articulated the concern that Shannon, who endured unimaginable circumstances, is being forced to relive her trauma through a comedic lens. Despite the backlash, the film has found its share of supporters. Some viewers, having attended its premiere at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, have praised the production as a clever exploration of dark humor. One fan enthusiastically shared their experience, calling it the funniest film I have ever seen, and noting its boldness in tackling sensitive subjects. Another supporter remarked on the film's ability to shed light on the bizarre nature of the crime, while focusing humorously on the perpetrators rather than the victim herself. The juxtaposition of extreme reactions to the musical encapsulates a broader societal debate about the boundaries of comedy and the ethics of using real-life tragedies as entertainment. While some argue that dark humor serves as a coping mechanism and a means of reflection on societal issues, others firmly believe that certain topics, especially those involving children, should remain off-limits. As the release date approaches, the controversy surrounding Shannon Matthews, the musical only seems to intensify. The anticipation of its streaming debut and live performances across the UK in December will undoubtedly keep this divisive conversation alive. Critics urge the public to reconsider the implications of supporting a production that dances on the fine line between comedy and cruelty. Whether audiences will embrace or shun this audacious musical remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. The legacy of Shannon Matthews continues to evoke strong feelings and a complex mixture of responses from the public. Stay subscribed for more videos.